today's video we are going to be taking a look at this home the name of this home is the trenton it's a 28 by 52 four bedroom two bath home it's uh it's really loud out here so let's not waste any time let's go ahead and go inside family before we finish this tour i have a short disclaimer i do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home i record these videos because i love touring these homes and i share my personal opinion of the homes i view if you have any questions about finding this home pricing or specifications all the information i have will be in the description box below now let's get back to the video All right, just take a quick pan around here. So I'm going to turn around. This is the door that I walked in. That's the front door. And this is the living room. You have a decent sized living room here. I love how it is decorated. I think this is absolutely beautiful. Now this home has the seams in the wall, but it's still a beautiful home. Go on this side. See, you got space for an entry table there by the front door. And you have a really nice size living room. Not a true open space here. You have a little separation for those of you that don't want the home so wide open. You do have this wall here. Um, and that's the kitchen on the other side. So looking from the front door um, through the living room, you've got your dining room right here, space for a nice size table and even a buffet, if you like, right there in that corner. Really nice. You have carpet in the living room and you have the linoleum floors in the kitchen and dining room. Okay, beautiful painting on the wall. Love that you have the lighter color in the living room and the darker color in the kitchen. It gives it a contrast. You could do a lot with this house, you guys. Really nice. So next to the dining room, you have the kitchen and the pantry. And we'll take a look um, at all of it. Just wanted to give you a pan first to allow you to see into the kitchen. You have your island in the middle. We'll explore the kitchen. Let me just show you here your utility room. This is your back door. Your washer and dryer would go in that space. And then you've got this cubby hole here for like a deep freezer or whatever you like. You can put, you know, you might make this into a little office space. You might make this into, uh, put shelving back here and make this for storage. You got your plug back there for uh, deep freezer. So you got room to make this into whatever you like. Love the size of this utility room. Now it's an open door. Open door into the kitchen and once again you have this island in the middle great for like chopping up your veggies or uh, prepping you've got storage uh, under the island your refrigerator sits there you've got room for I would make it a coffee bar you got a nice space for a coffee bar more storage over and under in that area the cabinets don't go all the way to the ceiling, so you do have space for decor. And then, of course, on the exterior wall, you've got your, I was about to say refrigerator, you got your stove, sink, counter space, got your mirror over the sink, and then your cabinets. This home doesn't have lights. Oh, yes, it does. We got lights in here, you guys. So very nice. 
All right, so this is the kitchen again. Oftentimes these homes do not have lighting, but this one does, I'm glad I tried. All right, so there's your kitchen. And again, this is your dining room and living room. Now let's go take a look at the secondary, the uh, guest bed bedrooms. Off the living room and dining room is a little hallway and this is where your guest bedrooms would be. Please excuse the uh, smoke detector. That's what that noise is. So here's the guest bathroom, standard guest bathroom, nice size in there. You got space for whatever you need in here. All right, so that's the guest bathroom. And then you have two bedrooms over here. They both look appear to be the same size, but and they are nice size rooms. All right, so you got nice size guest bedrooms. This is guest bedroom number one. You've got a walk-in closet in this guest bedroom. And then I'll give you a view of the guest bedroom from over here. I stepped into the closet to give you an idea of how much space you have. All right, and then again, this one is right next to the guest bath and then across from the guest bath is another guest bedroom my guess is this also has a walk-in closet but we'll check it out to be sure yep you got a walk-in closet here and then guest bedroom and I'll go back out one more time and give you the chance to see it. This is the Trenton four, uh, three, did it say? I thought it said four bedrooms. Nope, three bedrooms, it's number four. Three bedrooms, two baths. All right, so guest bedrooms are to the right of the front door to the left of the front door. You know what, we didn't check out the pantry while we were in the kitchen. It has the pantry, you guys. Nice, really nice. Just a little small closet pantry, but hey, pantry is a pantry. When you've got a pantry, you got some storage, you hear me? So yeah, you got a pantry right here in your kitchen. Sorry about that, I almost missed it. I love this kitchen sign. All right, now down this hall is the guest bed, uh, excuse me, is the master. They got two windows here in the master. So this is the master. What I like about this master is that you've got your bathroom over here and you've got a closet over here. You know, they are really doing a, a lot of master closets inside the bathroom now. It's nice to see it the way we're used to. This is the master closet, kind of small but it depends on what your needs are. You would pick this house if it fit your needs. And so if this is all you need, then this would work perfectly. I don't mind the closet in the bathroom if it has a door um, at all. So, but it's nice to see it the regular way. All right, this is the master bathroom. Two sinks there, got your huge mirror over the sink. You know, don't let these mirrors be a deal breaker, you guys, because you can always take this mirror down. You see those clips? You see those clips? Those clips are what's holding 
Can you see them? Right here. These clips are what's holding the mirrors up. They can always be taken down. You can put the mirror that you want up there. Okay? So that is the sink. You got a frosted window there that opens. You've got a huge soaker tub here. Catter corner. I would put some shelving over here. You got enough space for whatever kind of shelving. Your toilet is on this wall across from that window. And then you've got your shower behind the door. This one has a shower curtain uh, versus having a sliding glass, which honestly, I kind of wish mine had the shower curtain. And the reason why is because it, it's really shaky. It's kind of scary sometimes, especially when I'm cleaning. I would prefer the shower curtain because that's what I'm used to. But anyway, <laughs> that's the master bath. And again, the master bedroom. Okay, so this home is at Wayne Fryer Homes in Byron, Georgia. They don't post prices. If I see any additional pictures on the website, I'll definitely um, post those in these videos. Um, but you're welcome to reach out to the manufacturer or the dealer with any questions about pricing, okay? This, this is a trend, you guys. Three bedroom, two bath. Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva. I hope you enjoyed this tour.